Tonight, MJ the musical about Michael Jackson officially opened on Broadway, and before the curtain rose, the stars hit the red carpet. CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports Jackson's music is celebrated, but something is missing. A standing ovation for Miles Frost, who stars in MJ the musical on its opening night. Before the curtain rose in the Neil Simon Theater Tuesday, Michael Jackson's children joined the cast and fans of the King of Pop on the red carpet. It's just a time for this show right now. It's so much love. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful contextual uh, story that has depth and meaning and truth. What are you going to be looking for on stage tonight? Anything in particular? The moonwalk. <laughs> It's going to be a great night in the history of Broadway tonight. This night has been a long time in the making. The musical was supposed to premiere in 2020. It gave us a lot of t extra time to really shape, shape the book. Um, I got to work a few times with the actors through Zoom. Jackson's estate is one of the producers. The show is set in 92, just before the singer's dangerous tour, and one year before the first public allegation of abuse against him, which the script does not include. We want to focus, you know, micro focus on his artistry and who he was as a musician. The jukebox musical promises powerful singing and dancing to dozens of Jackson songs. And for the first time in Broadway history, four commemorative playbill covers honor Black History Month. He's a big part of my childhood, and even after that, a cultural hero to me. What he's done for everyone on that stage and black artists across the world and artists, period, across the world, it's truly unreal to think about. As theater slowly recovers from the impact of Omicron, many in the industry hope MJ will bring big crowds to Broadway. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.